So uh, a lot of people have been asking me where's the 690 on the channel. It's been ages since this thing's been on the channel. Christ, I've only ridden it about twice since I've finished building it. It's been a bit ridiculous, but we're out today. The sun's out. It's a Sunday, so of course it's Supermoto Sunday. And we've got Mr. Womble with us on his 701. Come through, Mr. Womble, when we get around this corner so you don't kill yourself. And what we're going to do, we're going to have a little swap of bikes, because a lot of people ask me, which is better, the 701 or the 690, which shall I buy? This one. These things are the same bike, underneath the skin. <laughs> they're really the same machine, so uh, it doesn't really matter. So take your pick on looks, really, and then, and then uh, and buy one. That is really the, uh, the thing to it. There's no difference, really, to ride them. But Womble's bike is a 2016, so that has the older engine in it. So if you are looking, at a 690 or 701 there's a big changeover for the 690 it was in 2019 i think they brought out this new 690 which has got the new engine with the extra balancing shaft revised head so it revs a little bit harder but it's also much smoother and it also has all the electronics on it which whether you want that or not on the supermoto is another matter but one balls is more pure that's like my old one that's like my old one let's have a look we bought these together brand new, didn't we, back in 2016. I bought my yeah. 701, one we've still got is. And uh, that's got the old 690 engine in. I think it was the pre-2015 690 engine. Like I say, it's a bit more vibey, a little bit more agricultural. It's a lot of grunt, but then it loses a little bit of revs at the top. So we're gonna have a bit of a swap of bikes and uh, first impressions of what they're like to ride. How have you been getting on with that bike, Wobble? You've had it four years now, how long have you had it? Well, 20... Yeah, well, this five is five years, years isn't it? <laughs> five years old. It's five years old. How many miles have you done? I don't know, my clocks have failed. <laughs> <laughs> Your clocks have failed. <laughs> you done, what have you done about? 6,000, you know many of you, it's about 6,000 miles, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it must be around that. We only, we only did the valve inspection last year, didn't we? The 6,000 mile valve check, so... It's not got many miles on it, but it's been, apart from the clocks failed, which have failed recently, probably due to water ingress, isn't it? Because you had a bit of, uh, did you have some water in there? Yeah, when I took it apart, the uh, circuit board, you can see where water's got in. But apart from that, it's been full free, isn't it? They've had no problems with it, have you, in those five years? Nah. So for those that don't know, I've thrown thousands at this bike. This bike's had a full build series on the channel, so I'll put a link at the top. There's about, I think it's 10 episodes of me doing all sorts of things to this bike. So this 690 isn't standard. It's got the Rottweiler kit, it's got the full Tecmo system, it's got Super Mofuls LED headlights, it's got Power Commander, but Wombles is very similar. You've also got the full Rottweiler airbox, the Power Commander, the wings exhaust, haven't you? So they're both sort of similar specs power-wise. So this will be quite interesting to see how they compare. But what is the better looking one? What is the better looking one? Yeah, well, that's, that's no contest, obviously. Cheers, mate. Appreciate, I appreciate your honesty. <laughs> <laughs> so there they are. 701, my 690, LED headlight, the new LED Supermofuls headlight with the little, uh, let me just show you this. So this is different to what I put on it in the build series. It's now got a low beam as a, like a DRL running light, and then the high beam, so over here brings on the full LEDs. So uh, I've got a little 10% off though, so I'll put a little link below if you do want one of those. But uh, she's a beast. This is also a beast. No LED headlight on this. You can get an LED headlight for this now, you know. I know. You can get one. Oh, you've got the brake, carbon brake things as well, isn't it? Carbon brake. Oh, yeah, the brake. Yeah, the brake uh, so I've got different brake calipers on mine and whatnot. Wings exhaust. We've even got the baffling. What's wrong with you, man? Baffle, what's the matter with you? Um, do you want the wheelie control on or off? Uh, off. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a go on this. Feels very, very similar. Very similar, actually. It's a little bit more vibe, isn't it? You can definitely notice the lack of that uh, balancing shaft. Oh, there's a junction here. Let's go right. You can definitely notice a little bit more vibes. And this has got a quick shifter. Yeah, the quick shifter. 
isn't brilliant on that to be honest. The, the blip is good, but I tend to not use the quick shifter on that because it's not smooth all of the time. But yeah, this does feel very, very similar actually. To be fair, yeah, it's, uh, it's a little bit it's less vibey, but apart from that. There's a few more vibes and there's a few, it's not just through the bars, but it's the whole bike shakes a little bit more. It still sounds bloody loud, you've got the baffle in this as well, haven't you? Yeah, I was going to say this sounds quieter. But yeah, the feel of the bike is identical really, absolutely identical. I'll be honest with you, I wouldn't swap it, I wouldn't go, oh I need to go and spend more money. No, it's not much different really, is it? I think if you... That'll be faster at the top, because that's got another 1,000 revs top end, whereas these do run out of puff a little bit, but it, from the grunt perspective, with because you've got the rotty kit and everything, it feels the same. Let's do a little roll on. What gear is this, though? I don't know what gear we're in, though, do we? That's the problem. Uh, I've gone down to second. Go third. Not probably not the best place to do it in the 30, is it? Uh, no. Let's wait until we get on the little right. Yeah. Let's wait until we get on the fast a bit around. Oh, we're in a 60 now, we can do a little roll on now. I'll work my way, that's I first, think that's third. second, third. Third, third. yeah. Third, one, two, three, go. Mind you, you this, this has got a fatty on, remember? We'll have to do the same thing after we swap back. Yeah. <laughs> this actually feels really grunty at the bottom. I wonder whether this is, uh, these, uh, this early engine's got a little bit more grunt at the bottom. I'd, I'd agree because it's lacking a bit more at the top. Yeah, and then it, it, yeah, yeah, it, it loses feels, it. Yeah, at the top, it feels really, really grunty, doesn't it? Well, that does sound good. But what I love about Supermotos is just uh, these sorts of roads you can ride on. So you haven't got to worry about the old bill, you haven't got to worry about speed cameras, these are all 60 mile an hour limit roads, so you can have a damn good blat without really even breaking the law. I think it is the future. Yeah, I think you get a lot more feedback than you from a supermotor. You can ride it. It's lovely having the sports bikes and everything else, but can you really ride it on the road? Oh Christ, keep hitting your force neutral. Yeah, the older bike I think does suffer a bit more with that uh, false neutral between, I think it's third and fourth. Yeah. It's not quite so bad on mine. Let's have a little swappy swappy back. Yeah, it's, not, it's no different is it that really. And I think this is why these hold their money so well isn't it, because the early ones are really, apart from it's slightly smooth and a little bit more top ends, there's not a deal of difference, is there? Your seat's softer, I know that much. Is it? It's softer. Yeah. It's got the gel in mine, isn't it? I've got the uh, the Louis Moto gel insert. It is a pain switching off the... I'd rather not have any of the electronics on this, to be honest. Apart from the quick shifter blipper, I think it's the only thing worth having. Yeah, I do think, you, I do think yours has a bit more punch, though. It feels it. It feels like... It's there, I can, even just going slow, I can just feel it's waiting to go, come on. Yeah, it's got a little bit more grunt initially, I'd say. Rolling start. We just check I mean, the They're one, both geared standard, aren't they? There's one, no gearing changes, they're running the stock gear in. 30 mile an hour, three, two, one, go. Oh. Those, the revs got it. So this has got that extra top end, isn't it? It's just pulled stronger at the top, you see, even with a big fatty on it. I just ran out of revs. But I think this revs to 8,000 revs, the new the new engine. Well, I think yours is 7,000. So that, that's the difference. You do get that. It may, I think it lacks a little bit of bottom end punch, a little bit, but then you've got you've got a lot more power at the top. I think you have another 7 or 8 horsepower up on that early engine, so... I revved her out. Because you had you had the, the later 701 Alex, didn't you? Alex isn't on camera, but he had the 701, which was the 2017 Alex for sure, 2017? 
yeah that's it it's a 2019 but that had the it had the new engine but it didn't have the electronics so some would argue that could be the one to have really but that got stolen Alex didn't it, it got nicked yeah Greg's and Alex's both 701s both got stolen out of their garage overnight some little turds nicked them Here we go, mate. We've got a little space to sit help yourself. There's nothing wrong with them. Can we get them on the back of the bikes? Get them on the back, mate. We'll get one of these on the back, I reckon. How you doing? All right. Yeah, I've just come look at the chairs, actually. Are they nice? Yeah, I heard your voice. I thought, you know, just having a little break. Yeah. No, no, no. Well, actually, uh, my, my son's moving into his own flat. So I just saw them as we went past and thought, they could be ideal. They could be ideal. Covers. Sit in it. Yeah, yeah, let's have a, let's have a sit, let's have a sit. <sighs> yeah, it's nice. Yeah, no, it's really nice. Really, really nice. I'll try it, Dave. So, try one. There's nothing wrong with them at all, is there? <laughs> That's really, really nice. Smashing. Oh right, okay. I'll, I'll, that means nothing to me, but it probably will to her. Brilliant stuff. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. She must have been spying out the window. She didn't mess about. She was straight out, wasn't she? I've got full protection Turn on today. Off. Full back leather brace. Ch chest protector. Have you? Yeah. What <laughs> you got underneath that blue thing then? The, uh, not, is it? No, false field. Oh, well, we don't talk about those people. We don't talk about those people on this channel. Oh, I might turn my headset on and off because it's really crack. We just turn the headset on and off because it's crackling, it's really annoying. So is your voice. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, shit! <laughs> Why is this a 450 or a 444, Alex? Oh, shit. Sure. Your class of uh, vehicle coming through on the train. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's a five car. It's a five car. Does, it, does that mean how many cars it's got on it then? Yeah. Oh, five know. car, unless it's been coupled up to a ten car. <laughs> <coughs> oh, I don't know. Yeah, have you, got, you have got there in a minute. It's normally up on the bridge with this camera and photos yeah. of it. <laughs> I've already got the 444. This is power level one, which is full power. <laughs> I could do that all day. What have you done here? <laughs> I told you I was scared back there. I've never dropped a bike before in my life. Oh! Backfire! That's it! That's it! <laughs> Listen to me. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>